I know it's gonna piss off a lot of people, but I need to say it, okay? Girls do like nice guys. Actual nice guys. Not low-key douchebags who do nice things sometimes and expect something in return. Because guess what? Part of being nice and being a nice guy is doing things with the expectance that you will get nothing in return. That is not how it works, guys. Unless the guy is totally not attracted to her, he's gonna want something in return, especially if the girl is an attractive woman. We are always gonna want something in return. If we take you out to eat, we want something in return. The only problem here, a lot of guys are too scared to ask, which is why a lot of these guys end up in the friend zone, and that is the last place you wanna end up as a man. And guys, do yourself a favor, do not pay attention to those shaming tactics. She has absolutely no clue what she's talking about. She does not know. But these people will like pay for dinner once and then be like, oh my God, she didn't me after what the fuck nice guys dinner's last. Like, no, like good job for paying for dinner, but you are not entitled to anything. That is part of being nice is not being entitled to anything afterwards. I find that the dudes who are actual nice guys will never sit there and be like, Oh my god, I'm such a nice guy and I don't get anything. Because nice guys don't even really realize that they're nice guys. It's always the dudes who are low-key douchebags that are like, oh my god, I do such nice things and I don't get anything. Like, congratulations, you didn't cheat on someone. Congratulations, you held the door for a girl. Like, you did the bare minimum. Congratulations, but it doesn't make you a nice guy. It doesn't make you a nice guy. Yes, the guy's not entitled to anything, and it's the same way. You're not entitled to the guy's money. You're not entitled to the guy's wallet either. That's how it goes. It goes both ways. And guys, I am talking to you now. Please pay attention. This is 2021. Do not waste your money on these women. A lot of these women are only using you just to get a free meal. That needs to stop right now. On the first date, make sure you take her out for a drink, guys. It could be a simple cup of coffee. It could be whatever drink she likes to drink. And trust me when I tell you this. If she likes you, she's going to go out with you. She's going to have that drink. If she doesn't want to go with you, that's okay. You get to save your money. That means you didn't get to spend the money on someone who doesn't want to be with you. Who doesn't want to give you anything in return, guys. That's how it works. And guys, and plus, you do not want to be that guy who's just going to be happy to be on a date. You don't want to be the guy who's going to drive your date at the end of the date just to chat at Tyrone's house just so she can have a fun at the end of the night, guys. You do not want to be that guy. Okay, so I was just thinking about this and let me know what y'all think. But there has been times where I will be talking to a man and I won't be feeling it and people will be like, why? And I'll be like, he's just too nice. And people will look at me like I'm stupid. They'll be like, what do you mean he's too nice? Like you want somebody mean? And I figured it out. It's... It's not that I want somebody mean, it's just what I'm looking for in a man is masculine energy. Guys, I'm not showing you these videos so you can go out and be a jerk to women. That is not the reason why I'm showing you these videos. If you're a nice guy, you're going to be a nice guy no matter what. There's no switch where you can turn on and off to not be a nice guy. It doesn't work like that. Now, I just don't want you to be a doormat. I don't want you to be anybody's doormat. I don't want you to be stuck in anybody's friend zone. I don't want you to be disrespected by anyone. I want you to keep your eyes open. And trust me when I tell you this, if a woman wants to have fun with you, she's going to know within the first five minutes of meeting you guys. That is how it works. Trust me. It's not rocket science. That is dominant over my masculine energy so it can bring out my feminine energy. Does that make sense? Like, if I feel like I have more masculine energy than you do, then I feel like you can't really be dominant over me and I can't be submissive and my feminine energy can't come out. Does that make sense? Because it makes sense to me. Let me know what y'all think. This is a whole lot of nonsense, guys. You can't fake being feminine. You can try. You can only do it for so long. Eventually, your true self is going to come out. You don't need someone to be too masculine just to bring your feminine side. You can either be feminine or not feminine. That's what I know. Being feminine is something that comes natural to women. You don't have to learn to be feminine. You don't have to go to school for that. It comes natural. That's who you are. That's how you're supposed to be as a woman. My last advice for you guys is to get your passports. Just get away from these Western women. Start traveling. If you have the money, do yourself that favor. Get away from these women. Start traveling, guys. I highly recommend it. You guys want a nice guy that you can walk over? No. Yes. No. No. We like assholes. We definitely. I don't like nice guys because I can walk all over them. To be honest. When they make me feel like it makes me attractive.
Did it then. <laughs> That's terrible.